This video will provide you with an overview of the classroom data collection tool and resulting report. It is best to think about the on-site observation process by looking at the resulting summary report that is generated. With that, we will begin with the end in mind. What you are seeing on the screen is the actual report that was generated during a school visit. To access this report, you will click on the Response tab of your site's Google Form. As you can see, 95 total observations were collected and the pie chart displays that all content areas were observed. It is a goal that we observe all classrooms at least once, if not twice, during the duration of the visit. It is important that we use our time in classrooms to get a feel for instructional design, and delivery across the entire campus. You will also need to be strategic in assigning your team members for the observation portion. When it comes to observations, the more the better. Team members will be assigned to content area or grade levels, but it is also important that they get a feel for instruction across the campus. With that said, you will want to have your team members schedule themselves to thoroughly observe all classes within their assigned area and explore the other content areas as well. For example, if I'm an English teacher on your team, I will probably spend about 80% of my time in English classes and the other 20% observing career technical or other content areas. As team leader, you will want to observe a sampling of all subject areas and grade levels yourself so that you have a true feel for instruction across the campus. As you can see, it is a priority to visit all levels of classes as well. This allows us to verify the rigor of the delivered curriculum as we move from inclusion to regular classrooms to advanced or honors courses. We also collect data about classroom enrollment, specifically class size, to verify that class sizes reflect the total population of the campus. For example, if the campus has 40% male students, we are looking to verify that about 40% of all classes are composed of males and that we do not see a higher percentage of female students in advanced classes and a number of males in remedial or low level classes. Another piece of classroom data that is collected is classroom arrangement. This allows us to see if traditional instruction is prominent or if the campus has a focus on real collaborative learning strategies. We dig into this section further as we begin to describe the class activities. Team members will need to be reminded that just because students are sitting in teams or pairs, that does not mean that the activity or assignment has been structured to support real collaboration. The next section focuses on the delivered content. As team leader, you will need to assign your team members to specific content areas for the observation portion of the visit. For example, your team member who previously taught math should be assigned to observe math classrooms. The reason for this assignment is that that individual should be familiar with the state math standards and should be easily able to detect if the instruction is aligned to those standards. There are also two additional questions in this section that allow us to identify what resources were used to support instruction and to allow us to look at trends about how we engage students in that course content. The next section focuses on student engagement. This data set again looks for those trends and focuses on how students are engaged. Do we see minds on learning across the board in classrooms? Do we see student-centered instruction that causes students to work harder than the teachers in those classes? How does the teacher engage students with questions? How is the teacher checking for understanding throughout the instructional period? And finally, is instructional time fully utilized? As you can see, these graphs quickly give a summary of engagement that can be used with teachers to celebrate areas of strength, and to set the stage for needed changes in instructional design and delivery. The last section of the data collection helps us focus on the rigor level of the assignments. Data will be collected on the rigor level of the assignment 
specifically looking at what the students are asked to do. The data is collected using the depth of knowledge levels. As you can see in this example, 60% of the observed assignments were at DOK level one, representing basic recall of factual information. This clearly sets the stage for moving into more rigorous assignments on this campus. In the snapshot, we also see how literacy and math are addressed on campus. There are two specific questions that allow us to see how both reading and writing are used as tools of learning. Are students being asked to read and provided tools to assist them with engaging in that text? Are students being asked to cite evidence in their writing to communicate learning? Are students involved in problem solving and investigations? And you can also see the descriptions of math classrooms that again allow us to look for trends in that instruction. Finally, there is a section for the review of lesson plans. It is very powerful to review the lesson plans in the context of the classroom. Do you see the lesson plan coming to life in that classroom? How does the teacher communicate the alignment of standards in that plan? This piece allows us to review the plans for rigor, engagement, and also to verify how teacher collaboration opportunities support instructional design. I hope that this overview of a final report gives you some insight into the observation process. Again, you can see that this information looks for trends across campuses and does not in any way single out teachers. The classroom data collection is not and will not be a part of any formal evaluation process. The data collected will be used to generate this report, which will be provided as an addendum to the final written report for the visit. Our next lesson will provide additional details about each section of the observation form. Thank you for viewing this overview.